Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another exciting episode of iDevice Guide. This is Puneet Khatri to help you guys back and I hope you're doing pretty good. So basically guys, if you watched my previous video about resetting the password for Mac, so if you did not watch it yet, I would uh, link it somewhere around here. And in so far as per my history and history on this channel, that video got the most number of views. And I was really excited because that was pretty good video. I, my efforts came into a really good thing. And also, I just went through all those comments that you guys have uh, wrote there in the comment section down below in that particular video. And I got to see that uh, there are some changes in doing the same, same that process. So what I decided now is that I'm going to show you the same exact procedure on my new Mac that's running Mac OS X El Capitan. So I'm going to show you the exact same procedure, what to do if you lost your password. And also before we get started with this video, I want to ensure and really say you thank you guys. Thank you so much about giving me so many views on that particular video. Also to mention, please note that none of your files would be damaged during this process because it's really easy task. If you want me to shoot any video about your topic, the topic you guys want me to shoot video on, do make sure to mention the topic down in the comment section below and I will have a look at them. Without wasting any bit of time, now we should go ahead and get started with this video. So let's go we'll ahead. begin our first step with the, tapping the Apple logo upside there on the left corner and then tapping over restart because we need to restart our Mac and to get into that access code file in order to reset the password for the Mac. So just go ahead and tap over restart. Once you tap over restart, you would get this option that you are, are you sure you want to restart your computer? Just go ahead and tap over restart. Now do it, just go ahead and restart your Mac. Okay, so guys, once your Mac restarts and you listen this the sign up of sound, you need to tap and hold the window or S key if you're using a Windows keyboard with your Mac or command S key if you're using a Mac keyboard or the Apple keyboard. So guys, once you keep and hold the window and the S key or the option and the S key, Mac will boot up into some of these codes and everything and you would end up with having root access. If you do not have root access, what you need to do is just go ahead and hit return key one or two times and you get the root access. It's that easy. So now you need to enter some commands over here which would be down right there in the description. So just go ahead and have a look at them and basically you cannot copy them because you need to type them manually. So be sure to type them properly. So going ahead and entering the very first command that is mount hyphen uw forward space and forward slash. Just go ahead and tap on the return key. Oh, uh, I just got some error. So don't worry, if you type them wrong, you get an error. So, you see, the first time I got some error, but when I type it again, I got no error. So that's pretty common if it doesn't work in the very first time. You're gonna get it working in the second attempt. So guys, up next, the second command that you need to enter is something like this. It is ls space forward slash users. Just hit the return key and it will show you the users that are there on this PC. Basically, I have only one user. So it shows me only one user and my username is pk. Alright, so what you need to do now next is that you need to enter this next command which would reset the password for your this username. So it's something like this. DSCL space full stop space hyphen password PASSWD space forward slash users forward slash the username that's pk for my case it differs from person to person so you can just go ahead and enter your password and now you need to enter the, your password so in this case I'm gonna type hello world so just go ahead and tap on the return key be confident enough so you know what next you need to do is reboot okay so now your Mac would just go ahead and reboot Okay so guys, now again I'm going ahead and starting with the second process for doing the same process or uh, like for resetting your max password because if that first method does not work for you guys, you can try this one. Because actually I'll be truth with you, truthful with you that this first word, the very first process did not work with me. Yes, because the very first attempt it did not work, I tried that three times and finally I was end up with uh, like uh, able to do that. It worked successful in the third attempt. So uh, if, you, if that doesn't work for you guys, what you need to do is go ahead and get started with the second process. So without wasting any bit of time, let's go ahead and type ahead with the commands for the second process. What you need to do, the very first command remains the same, mount 
space hyphen uw space forward slash oh uh, again I got that error I'm gonna try that again so this time it worked perfectly fine now what next the second command is really different that's rm space forward slash var that gives you access to the disks and everything forward slash db forward slash dot apple setup done so uh, once you enter that command just go in and tap on the enter return key so you see I did not get any error this time it was executed successfully once you do that what you need to do is the last command to shut down the PC space hyphen edge now so what it's gonna do is that it's gonna reboot your computer like shut it down completely and restart your computer or restart your Mac so let's go ahead and execute that one two and three I'm gonna press the return key now so now it's gonna just go ahead and restart your Mac okay so guys I just turned my Mac on so it's just booting up let's go ahead and let me show you the entire process this time because I wasn't able to show you the last time or the last video which I made so guys once you get the screen which means the command was executed successfully you might be thinking that where did my data go this is just a fresh Mac over here don't need to worry anything this is really natural this is the entire process that's gonna help you create a new administration account which will help you eventually to reset the password for your old or the border of thousand so now let's go ahead and select that so uh, just uh, show all and yeah continue ABC now you're gonna select your Wi-Fi and enter the password for your Wi-Fi network okay so guys uh, I don't want to transfer any information enable location services continue you need to enter your Apple ID if you don't want to just go ahead and don't sign in right now continue skip the process accept terms and conditions you need to create a new account so I'm gonna enter my name I'm sorry once you hit continue it's gonna just go ahead and create the account for you guys and do mention again this is an administrative account so just hit continue so it's just setting up my Mac alright so I'm pretty excited to show you guys the entire process so guys as you can see it's a really fresh installed copy of Mac so you think where is your data you lost all of your data no that's pretty wrong so now what you need to do go ahead and hit over system preferences once you're in the system preferences what you need to do tap over users and a group once you're there, you're over here, just go ahead and unlock that. So once you're here, you get the access to your old accounts or the other users. And you get this option up right here, successfully, yes, reset passcode. So you need to enter a new password. So let me enter hello world, success, change the passcode. So now that has successfully changed your password. Now what do you need to do next? So guys, once the job is done with system preferences, you're gonna tap the Apple logo up right here and log out from the user account that you created right now. So guys, once you log out, you get all of these three options. Because I had guest user enable, it shows me guest user, my old account and my new account which I created right now. Now, as I have clicked on my old account, I need to enter the password and I will enter hello world and hit the return key. Okay, so it says your system was able to unlock you using your login keychain. So you want to continue login, update the keychain password, create a new keychain. So I would continue login. So guys, that's it. Finally, we have successfully reset the password for your Mac. Yes, without losing any data. So now you would be thinking what to do about the account that you created right now. Just go ahead and tap our system preferences again. It over users and groups. Unlock it over here again. You have this account over here you can either reset the password or just hit the minus sign over here and remove this account so you can delete everything delete the user and that's it you're back to your Mac normally working fine and everything is working pretty good okay so guys I think you really enjoyed this video you really did was this really helpful to you I want to know all of the answers to these questions which I'm asking you right now so please do answer these questions down in the comment section I would be Really pleased if you answered all those questions because this helps me to create such great content for you guys and only only and only for you guys. And again, I would like to request you if you enjoyed this video, please do make sure to give a thumbs up to this video, subscribe to iDevice Guide and share this video as much as possible because any of your friends who forgot the password for their Mac would be able to reset it if you guys share this video. And that's about it for a while and if you want to check out some really great videos please do again make sure to subscribe to this channel give a thumbs up to it and that's about it and I'll catch you guys back in another video peace